now this video is coming from police watch what is going on <laughs> now before we even get into this video um once again welcome to the channel and um over here we react anything police related anything stupid related let me put it that way um i'm not saying this character is stupid we don't know yet or we don't know who she is but you can tell she's going back and forth you know crazy in a crazy manner going back and forth with the police i got to make sure everything is recording which it is oh well she's going back and forth with the police so i really don't know what's about to happen but looking at that face and once again shout out to uh police watch you know this is where i'm getting this footage from and of course i um i am reacting to it so oh click on the wrong side so let's see what's happening 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 let me correct my english on may 8th 2023 okay okay Why is she so angry? If the police really stopped them because of the windows tinted or windows tents, right? Let me let me shut up. Let me just watch it. Let me shut up. It's against the law to have dark windows tent what's wrong with her They can though. Oh, it got to that point. Why do people think if you are? Hmm. These are some of the things that I really don't understand, right? I'm not saying police can just walk to anybody they feel like and just search them without a reason right but for the fact that your car is not in your house your car is on the road your your car is in a public area right and let's say you're not driving it yeah the, the car just sitting there but is but if a couple of laws are being broken for example with the windows tent right I feel like they can, um, I don't know, let me, I, I really don't know, but I feel like if your car is outside and is breaking some laws, I feel like the police can tap into it and look into it, no? But then in this case, um, your car is outside, your car is in the public setting, and the police just trying to talk to you, and you just, I'm not giving them, you know, the S word. I'm not giving them ish. I'm not giving them ish. I feel like you're just making everything worse because the police, first of all, they got their eyes on you. They're not moving. Even if they are wrong, they want to prove up something so they're not leaving. So for you screaming, uh, you screaming, it's not going to do anything. Just, you know, at this point, I really don't know who's at fault. Um, the police. I fault the lady talking back crazy. She's at fault, so I already know that it's about to cause some confusion. This is gonna be a long video. What's going on right now? They're telling you don't reach inside your pocket. You think you got power? Even if you are fault, 
that's that's one of the man you get in front of police and you yelling doing all this extra shit and you're gonna talk anyhow you want to put your hands in your pocket like i said even if they are fault right i'm not saying you know they have the right to go to anybody and just treat them that way even if you are in that situation they don't have the right but at this point you are in that situation if you pull your hands in your pocket and golf bid they pull out something you know they pull out a gun and boom even if they are at fault at this moment your life is gone so if you're going get in front of the police and talking crazy is stupid because in this case they got the law on your side Uh, don't reach in the car, but I have right. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. Are you serious right now? They're gonna yank you out. And if they. I mean, I feel like when you're in a relationship, right, apart from uh, apart from being there for each other, that's number one, right? At the same time, too, is to correct each other. I said this before, and I feel like I would end up repeating myself over and over again, right? The police is not right to be doing what they're doing, but at the same time, too, in this situation, one little move, right? At this point, they as the guy, right? They think you might be the threat. So what they do, they put the handcuffs, the handcuffs on him, right, to get him out of the way. You, the female, you don't want, you, you don't want not handcuffed, right? You, as the guy, like I said, it's not a good situation, but in this situation, right, you, as the man in the back, say I don't care what it is, your hands is already tied up, but find a way to mellow down your girl. I'm not saying that y'all just. Humble yourself to these cops for no reason and, you know, and that, and that would be it, right? But at the same time, too, in the near future, you guys can fight. You guys can fight in the court of law. But in this case, right, there's nothing you can do but try and make sure that everybody come come out from this situation alive, not hurt, and things like that. And you screaming, don't touch me, don't touch me, like, it's not going to go nowhere. Yeah, she's hot at the moment. She don't want to listen to nobody, but... You yelling is not doing anything like... My AC just cut on. Let me go ahead and cut that off real quick. Uh, let me see. Switch to cool off. Now nah, we're gonna cut this part out, but let's wait for the AC to go down, then we continue. Come on. Watch it out. Yeah. 
Okay, so it's finally off, so we can continue. <clears throat> when people are in this situation, I don't know what's going through their head. You really think, like I said before, like the police bot to oh don't touch me oh don't touch me and the police will drop everything oh we sorry man okay sure about uh the confusion and just turn around and get in their car and leave at this point you got about six seven cops against you nothing's going they're not leaving these people like it's gone to a point where where they've ended up killing a person so you think in this situation they're about to drop everything and just leave and just what apologize to you and just, don't touch me, don't touch me, and they will not touch you? Are you serious? At this point, the only thing is you, you can do is just go by what they're saying. Then after that, if you got nothing to hide, then you leave. That's it. Cause you saying don't touch me, don't touch me, don't touch me. It's not happening. Shout out to Police Watch. That's where I'm getting this uh, footage from. Make sure you go and follow. Then after that, yeah, they start. Oh, they're trying to hurt me. Oh, I'm dying. Get over my neck. Shut up. They try talking to you for the past. What? what how? How many? In four minutes for the past five minutes and we ain't even we just getting started so what is she doing and i promise you if she had listened to every single thing that were asking of her she will not be on the ground right now my thing is if you got nothing to hide Huh. If you got nothing to hide, what, what's the point? Unless you guys really got something to hide, because there's no way. And the boyfriend, on the other hand, not even come to the situation. She really thinks they're about to like drop everything and just let her be. Are oh, you? Wow. All right, enough for all that. Let's. Why did y'all stop him? Why did y'all stop him? Let's get the. Let's get to that point. And also, if you don't like me talking over these videos, I'll put the original link in the description. And I promise you, it's not even, it's nothing big, but she's making it into a big deal. I feel like the uh, the boyfriend hiding something. And you know how it goes. I'm riding for my man, all that bullshit. She's trying to cover for that nigga. I mean, let me watch my mouth. He's trying to cover for the boyfriend. Man, shut the fuck up. <laughs> Look up, man. Your girl's more gangster than you. <laughs> what are you talking about? Ew. Let me shut up. Oh my god. Let me watch what I say. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, they had this um. It's not your car. You wasn't driving it. The girl was. The girl's custody, so they can search her. Something to hire. I can, I can offer it. This happens every single time after they realize that, oh, I'm about to be in big trouble now. Nah, they're trying to be nice and stuff like that. They're trying to be nice. You gotta search my car. You can't search my car. Oh, my boy's scared. What would you? What are you talking about jail for? If you ain't got nothing to have. Stupid. Yeah, he got something to hide. There's no way. Just like how we watch on this, right? And we and we're looking at the whole situation like if you're not showing your ID, you got something to hide. That's the same way the police feeling. Because if you got nothing to hide, make the police look stupid. Show me your ID, you got nothing to hide. But they did what's wrong in the way. But prove to them that you got nothing to hide, then go go on, go on about your business. You guys fighting the, uh, the police just for what? This thing is annoying. Listen, you in custody right now. You think they about they about to give your kid to you and take your kid uh what to jail with you? It would just be sometimes the way people be handling stuff. I mean, making sense.
What? Everything, everything he's doing right now is a little bit suspicious because you just don't want the police to search the car, but you will give them permission for them to search one particular place to recover your ID or what's going on. But the police, I didn't know this, so the police can take you to jail if you cannot provide your ID. Because basically, this, this, this was happening. Oh, uh, he's one of them Trying to sound so smart Or trying to act Trying to talk smart But dumb at the same time Trying so hard to be smart. This shit so make no sense. Why? Hey, I guess they're in love then because there's no way you should be handcuffed. Being handcuffed for a girl that just acted the way she acted. Draws kicking in. Look at his eyes. You can tell he on summer right now. Maybe I'm tripping, but hey. Okay, 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 that makes sense. Because I was trying to figure out, like, how come this guy cannot remember or don't know his address? I ain't gonna lie to you, even person uh, on a personal level, I know the address that I grew up in, and that's the same address that's on my ID all the time, right? All the other places that I moved to, yeah, I remember a couple of addresses, but I don't remember all of them. But I remember one address that's always on my uh on my ID to my parents' house. I know the address, so. But then again, you know, he's in a different situation. He probably relocated to that location with the girlfriend, you know. But hey, that's real love right there. If your girl go to jail, you go to jail too. But with me, my thing is, if the whole situation can be avoided, oh yeah, I'm gonna work towards that. The police approached me the wrong way. It's messed up. But in that very situation, I'm trying to get myself, my girl, my kid, everybody back home safe. The only way I'll end up in jail if the police touches my kid, right? Even though I'm going to be there for my wife, right? My girl, whatever the situation may be, with her yelling like that, I'm going to calm her down. But I'm going to handle that later. They're already recording the whole thing. You guys got cameras, cut the camera on, you know what I mean? So he went through all that. I mean, it's a good thing that he's not in handcuffs now, so he can take the child home and figure out about the girlfriend, wife, whoever it may be, later. Right.
He, exactly. That's what you're supposed to do. File a complaint. Well, the girlfriend was the one that made everything the way it was before. Right? You the one driving. Why? Why? Why they stopping you? It may be annoying. Maybe you don't want to deal with that police at that time. Maybe you're going through something. Through uh, you're going through something personally, right? And the police just out of nowhere trying to delay you. Is he going back to the car? But all this could. Yo, you should have. <laughs> Is he taking <laughs> record, Goofy? Don't take no picture. Why do I feel like he's about to get, they about to put him back in handcuffs? You should have done this. You should have done this way before. He got a, what kind of DSLR he got? Probably cannot record. One of the things that, every time the police stop you, your time is being delayed, but not their time. They're on the clock. They're being paid. So most of the time, like, you know, just do what they say and go on, go on about your business, man. Oh, that's the girl. That's the uh, the ride to the uh, to jail. Let me see what she's talking about. Let's listen. Conversation is about to be. It's about to change into. Now you don't want to say nothing. Cause you told me not to. You it's about to change it. to her apologizing. Watch. Not really apologizing, but she. I feel like there's no winning with you anyway. So. How's he gonna get through somebody? But y'all just did all this fucking bullshit for nothing. You really think somebody? Don't you wasn't responding to what they was asking for listen, you to do. Somebody. They asked for your ID, even though the reason why they stopped you, your windows, your windows were, were blacked out, the tent, your windows was too dark, so they stopped you, right? They could have stopped you right after they stopped you, show your ID, they would just give you a ticket, then you deal with it later. Now you've been taken away from your child for what? You know your sister's hard as fuck. She's spazzing out now. You didn't see no, you didn't you didn't even stop that. You just watched the nigga throw me in your fucking car. You ain't got what my face is. You only care about your fucking self. Always wanna treat somebody like a victim. A, a, a criminal. Criminal, bro. Make it sit, make this sit, make sense, bro. 
listen to one person and that's God. I'm not about to listen to y'all. Y'all feel like y'all the law, but y'all don't need to be a day of law. Just to go meet up with one of your partners, you turn it on the light. Lights on you for emergency. Or arresting, or, or pulling over somebody. Y'all don't need to be pulling over somebody. Like, it's just a turn on the light. It's to get to where you want to go. Or if somebody else sees you break the law, oh, you are you. You put the fire on top of the city to break the law. Close your nose. You're making a threat. I'm going to copy off. Can you put the shirt down? Or is that as low as it goes? Can you help? Either. Can you yes, I can. Does this come down any? No. no, okay. I just want to make sure it wasn't like riding up my knee. Alright? Mm mm mm. All this happened be because of what? Just a simple ID? Well, you should listen to what they wanted you to do in the first place. Mm -mm -mm. Well, once again, shout out to Police Watch. Um, you can go ahead and follow them. And um, yeah, I'm just going to end it right here. And all this happened because of what? not refusing to show your id that's crazy all right catch us on the next one we're gonna end it right here